here with a different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your mechanical hard drive to an SSD drive or replace your NVMe drive or M.2 drive. And this one is an Acer Aspire 5. The exact model is A 515. This one is actually comes with an iCore 5, 8 Gen, 8 gig RAM, 128 gig SSD drive, M.2 I guess and one terabyte of mechanical hard drive so let's get into it first thing first you want to flip it over upside down and you want to remove all the exposed screws right at the bottom cover there's no hidden screws or anything like that just remove everything there should be like a four on top three one on the side one in the middle one on the other side three on the bottom side all these screws are the same size, so don't worry about the mismatching them. So you remove all of them. These are the ones I already removed. I use this kit. I use an iFix toolkit always. It's really handy and it comes with everything you need. So you want to grab your opening tool. So this is really handy. I really recommend this one to everybody. So what do you want to do? You want to open your laptop in 45 degree angle or 60. You want to grab your opening tool and you want to shove it in between the top and the bottom cover. And you just want to twist it like this. And you want to hear some clicks. You want to do it all the way in front. And do the side. Be gentle. And try not to scratch your laptop. And do the other side. And once you have the sides and the front done, just like this, it's gonna be open. What do you wanna do? You wanna just wiggle around the bottom cover and it will just come loose. So now that we have the bottom cover loose, there is two things. You can either, go, if you powered off the laptop, you don't have to worry about anything. But if you want to be paranoid, you can just unhook the battery from the board just by pulling this cable out. There is a jack right here. You want to unhook this jack. Just put your fingernails right in there and just pull it out. And you can just remove it just like that. But it is not necessary. But if you guys want to be extra cautious, you can go ahead and do it. As you can see on this side, this is your M.2 drive right here. You can put an um, M.2 one or you can put an NVMe drive. This one is an M.2. Uh, it's a Sky Nix drive with 128 gig. To remove it is really simple. Just remove one screw and it will just slide out. And you can just replace it with a different one. So if you want to put a bigger drive on SSD on this side, I recommend you guys to put an NVMe drive, they are way faster than regular M.2. And now, if you want to remove your mechanical hard drive and add an extra SSD drive right here, it's really simple, remove the four screw that holds the caddy, so one, two, three, four. Alright, all the screws are the same size, so don't worry about it again. Once you remove the screws, be careful here. Uh, there's a connector right here and it has a ribbon cable that goes here, goes under the battery and it goes to this side over here. So you wanna lift it up gently and pull it out a little bit just like that. And what you wanna do, you wanna put your fingernails right under this adapter right here and you wanna pull it out. So leave the adapter right there. So here you have the hard drive attached to a caddy, which is two metal strips right here. To disconnect the strips, there are two screws, one here, one on the other side for this one, same thing in this side. So you wanna unscrew this one, grab your SSD drive. In this case, I don't have one right here with me. Um, but your SSD drive is gonna be the same thing, let's say it's this one right here. You wanna attach the same caddy on this one. And remember, this one's a, this laptop is using a 
low profile uh, drive so if you want to grab a mechanical drive it has to be a low profile normally they come with a little thicker ones so if you want to replace it with a mechanical drive you can't put this thick one right here you see there's a few millimeters like about three millimeters difference between them so you can't just replace it you have to put a low profile mechanical hard drive but fortunately all the ssd drives they are low profile so that's a good news right there you can grab your ssd drive put it in there and then grab your connector and push it in and put it right in place and put the four screws all right now that we have all the screws back in the hard drive in there you're gonna plug in the battery again the same way that you took it out the same way it's gonna go in it's just a simple jack slide it in make sure the cables are right underneath beside the battery not on top and grab the bottom cover put the heat sink or the back end side down first push it down gently push the corner make sure you hit those clicks do the side and the front you can hear just grab this one here and just pinch it and there we go and last thing is to put the screws at the bottom cover and i hope you guys like this video if you liked it click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching